hey guys what's up this is your girl kundai ken wengena and i'm back again with another video so don't forget to like subscribe and share also leave a comment down below if you enjoyed watching this tutorial so in today's tutorial i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a basic borders pattern so i've already laid down my money left paper now from the top um, I'm going to measure 10 inches and this is going to mark my bust line. So I'm just going to mark out that 10 inches mark and just below the 10 inches mark I'm going to measure 6 inches and that's going to mark my waistline. So now I'm going ahead to draw the bust line and the waistline measurements. So I'm just going to draw a line to indicate that this is my bust line. And here I will draw another line which will indicate on that mark, on that 6 inch mark, which will indicate my waistline. So these lines are where I'm going to put my waistline measurements and my bust line measurements. So just below the waistline, I'm going to measure 8 inches going down and that's where my hip line is going to be. So now I'm going to be putting my measurements, my body measurements, which I'm going to be dividing by four because I'm doing one part. So I'm going to mark out nine inches, that's for my bust line, and then I'm going to mark out 8.5 inches on my waist line. And then I'm going to mark out 10 inches for my hip line. So now that I've put all those markings, I'm going to get my ruler and then just draw a line joining the two dots, the dots from the waistline to the bust line, then from the waistline to the hip line. So I'm going to get my face ruler just to change the waistline because it's not straight. So I'm just creating that curve because your body is not straight at any So I'm just going to create that natural curve. So if you do not have a curve ruler, you can just go ahead to use your, your free hand. Just make sure you create a curve. And it's not too straight. So now that I'm done there, I'm gonna go ahead and measure three inches on the top part. This is the neckline. So from the neckline, I'm going to measure five inches. We are creating the shoulder line, which is five inches. So I'm gonna drop from that five inches point. I'm gonna drop it down by an inch because the shoulder is not straight. So I'm going to create. A, I'm going to take my ruler and join that those two points. And that creates my shoulder line. So I'm going to get my curved ruler and create a curve for the neckline. So you can always change this according to the design you're doing and alter this. Because once you have this basic borders, you can create any pattern you desire. So I'm just going ahead to just mark out my lines to say that's the dark, the waist, and the heat line. So now that I'm done, what I'm going to do in this part is to divide my bust line by 6 and then add 1.5 inches and then mark that. So my bust line was 6 and I divided it by 6. And then I added 1.5, that was 7.5. And 
I measured that down. This is going to create the upper bust line measurement. So this is the upper bust line. So I just drew one line going down and another joining there. So this is the upper bust measurement. So now that I'm done, I'm going to divide that measurement, that 7.5 measurement into two. And on that dot, I'm going to measure one inch or one and a half centimeters inside. And this is going to mark where my cave gets its climax. So I'm going to get my cave ruler. So before I do that, I'm just going to join my upper bust to my initial bust. So I'm going to get my cave ruler and make sure that point where I marked is going to meet the top point and create a cave there and join it to the to the upper bust line so this is going to create that perfect perfect armhole So here I was just showing you how you can add your, your line of ease. So this is an alternative thing. You can either add this line or you can just do it when you're now constructed the, constructing the garment that you desire. So this is just you adding your seam line. It's optional. You can choose to do that. You can choose not to. You can choose to add the, the seam line when you're now cutting out on your fabric. So now I'm just going to go ahead and measure and create a dot line. So what I do is I divide my bust line into two. And that's going to be 4,5, right? So I'm going to measure 4,5 on my waistline. Please take note that I'm going to measure it on my waistline. And then what I'm going to do is from my bust line, I'm going to drop down an inch and from my Wait and from my hip line, I'm also going to go up an inch. So before I do that, I'm just going to measure half an inch on both sides on my waistline. So I'm just measuring half an inch from the dot line, half an inch. And then when I go down to my hip line, I'm going to measure two inches from my hip line so that's where my dot is going to end so now i'm going to connect that dot that i'd measured on top to one side of the dot so make sure that we're from your bust line it's one inch below your bust line and it's two inches above your hip line so I'm just going to go ahead and join those two points. So this is the dot. So 
so as you take your measurements make sure that you add one inch on your waist this is going to be taken in when you put your dart so let's say your your waist is seven inches after being divided by four you're going to make it eight inches so now I'm just going ahead to cut out my pattern piece because it's done. Ta da! I just had to, sorry. <laughs> so now that I'm done, I'm going ahead to paste it down, to tape it down onto my other pattern piece. So now that I've pasted it on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the top part of my shoulder line and measure one inch, and I'm going to paint a cube. For the back um for the back neckline sorry <laughs> i almost said um how so i'm gonna just create a curve because the back neck neckline is quite smaller compared to the front neckline so this is the back part right so after that i'm just going to join it to the front basic bodies just to create that line that shows that that's the back so now I'm just shaping in the back armhole and just make sure it's making sure that it's not as deep as the one in front because the armhole for the back is not is that it's not that deep. So now that I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the pie the pieces. And when I do that, I'm going to trace all the pattern markings the bust lines, the upper bust and the dots. I'm just going to trace all those markings onto the back part. So I'm going to I'm just going to measure an inch from the center front line throughout. I'm just going to be measuring 1 inch and I'm just going to mark it out. So that's going to be our zip line. So it's our zip allowance. So what I'm going to do just after cutting it out, before I trace out my pattern, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold the zip line. So that's just an inch. So that's the allowance for your zip when you're inserting your zip. So I'm just going to trace out all the pattern markings onto the back pattern. So that's going to be our back pattern.